Sketching start and radius arc profiles. First, let's go up to the arc tab. Let's go to wall. Go to wall architecture. Now we want to make sure we click on the modify place wall tab. Then in our draw panel, we want to go to the start and radius arc. In the radius arc, we say click to enter an arc start point. So we're going to pick the start point of the arc. Then we're going to drag over and then we're going to place the second end of our start of our end of our arc. So I'm going to go at 40 feet and pick. And now it's asking me to define the, uh, the radius of the arc. So remember, I can key this in later on and modify this. So I'm not too worried about the exact dimension. Maybe I want 20 feet, but I'm not too worried. I'll just pick. And then now I'll hit escape. And now I'll go up to modify and select on my curved wall. And now I can just click in here and change this to 20 feet exactly. And I can hit enter. And now I got 20 feet. Now after we drew it, I can come in here at any time and say modify and pick on the wall and I can change my radius or my start and end point. I'll flip the wall orientation. I can grab onto these, these blue dots um, and these are drag controls and I can change uh, I can grab a whole one of these and I can change how much you know this is changed. So I can say this is 120 degrees, for example. If I can come up here and say, you know, I want 120 degrees, and boom, I can shorten that wall. So once again, I'm going to go up to wall architecture. I'm going to go over to the start and radius arc. I click on the two, the start and the end point, then I pick the uh, the radius. And remember that I can go over later to modify, select that wall, and correct any of those temporary dimensions to get the exact dimension I would need.